So guys, what is up? It is NYK Chazza and welcome back to another player review on the channel. And who do we have today? We've got 91 moments Paolo Dybala. And tell me, there is a better dynamic image in the game. Look at the source on the man. It is such a hot card to look at. And by the way, only 200,000 coins for this card. He can play centre forward. He can play striker. He links to Ronaldo. He links to loads of players in the Serie A. And it is a position that is much, much needed. Look at the traits. He's got finesse shot, flair and outside the foot. So he's got two, in my opinion, of the most needed traits in the game. And he's also, as I said, he's able to play in various positions. So we tried him in a 4-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2. At left striker and a 4 2 3 1 at Cam. And that is the best thing about him. He can do both. He can play left, he can play right, he can play centre attack in midfield. He will be able to do so, so much. And them stats, by the way, 93 agility, 95 balance. That card is just absolutely insane. And the best thing you can do with this Dybala is just make sure you get it on that left foot. Even though the right foot, freestyle weak foot, doesn't seem as bad to me as it did in previous years. But this card is absolutely cracked and I cannot recommend him enough. Let's get straight into the gameplay. And this is going to show you guys exactly what he can offer you. Look at this from Paolo Dybala. See you later, Fernando Torres. And this is going to be a world-class finish. The volley's coming in. See you later. What a finish from Paolo Dybala. And this is just going to be a showcase of what he did in Champs for us last night on stream. He was so, so good. He's so agile. The acceleration really boosts him past defenders. The bridge he can pull off. He just has the acceleration to do it. And the finishing is also there. He is brilliant in the box. Making runs. Deep lying playmaker. Or even if you want to sit there and you want to burst him through the middle. He can do both. Maybe when you're coming up against the team of the year cards that are going to come out. He might not cut it in pace wise. But he definitely does at the moment. At the moment I feel he's a very meta card as well. Just for the fact he's got a very, very good body. The body on him, the body thing is just a best thing to have at the moment. Players like Rashford, players like Taliska, the body shape really, really means a lot in this game and that is a lovely run once again as he comes clean through and right foot off the bar. Then I thought he was going to be offside but it turned out to be onside but he's still going to make some good runs and look at that for a run to the back post. Gets himself in space and he's not making any mistakes from there but as I said the body type that Paolo Dybala has, it makes it very hard for defenders to get him off the ball. Defenders are struggling to take the ball away from him. It feels like a magnet in there as he comes through here once again. Gets cuts inside and look at that for a rocket. Keeper just stands there and watches and we were sitting so pretty in champs with this card up front. I don't think I've ever been so comfortable in the first 15 games of champs. We went 14-1 and one and it was just an absolute breeze. And this Dybala, most importantly, was so fun to use. He gets in good places. He gets in good spaces. And he's got a brilliant shot on the end of him as well. So as you can see, 5-2, we won again. And look at that for a run. A lovely ball from Neymar Cito as well. And what are you doing from there? Weak foot. How is it? Decent little chip. Takes us 1-0 up. And he was scoring goals in big, big moments. The only one downside I did find to him is as the game went on, I felt about 60 minutes onwards is when you really started to see him sort of deplete. The 83 stamina really did come into play. And that was the only sort of time I'd sit there and go, yeah, I'm going to have to sub you off. You're not making an impact on the game anymore. But overall, if you're playing him at cam, he's still going to be noticeable. But you want to want to sub your cam off anyway at some point in the game. But at strike you can leave him up there he's going to make good runs he's going to make good shots and he's also going to make very good passes and the one thing on the passes is that the long passes in through balls I didn't think they were quite there even though the passing on the card looks absolutely crazy I just there was a couple of moments where we had a clean through and the pass was a little bit under hit or it was just a little bit misplaced which is unfortunate but it may have just been that time in the game. May have been a coincidence. Every player's passing is dodgy. But we did play eight games with him. So we got a really good feel of how the card was used. And we was playing him on six chems. So that is a big factor as well to take in. This card can be boosted even higher if you have better chem styles. Or even if you can get this man on better chemistry. We were subbing him on. So overall, he was doing the absolute business up front for us. I cannot lie. He was absolutely quality. And the dynamic image, if anyone isn't a simp for dynamic images this year, I don't know what you're doing. They look so, so hot. So, so hot. Look at that for some skill. See you later. And a little dink. A cheeky, cheeky dink from Dybala. That will put us 2-1 up. 
as he gives the man the thumbs up just to let him know you've just been done mate you've just been diabolered this guy is such a baller and I think for 200,000 coins we're definitely going to be picking him up on the RTG because he is an absolute bargain for that price and I could not recommend him enough. So guys, if you haven't already, please hit the sub button, turn the notes on. We're live every single night from 8pm, so be there, be square. And don't forget to drop a like on the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you later. Peace.